welcome to the Diamond System Builder tutorial. My name is Eli and I'll be your guide in this tutorial as we review an application and then use Diamond System Builder to create a design blueprint for the installation. Diamond System Builder, often referred to as DSB, is an interactive layout and system selection tool. It helps users determine the cooling and heating output of select equipment for project specific conditions. In the field, it's difficult to obtain blueprints for existing residential structures. Room dimensions must be measured by hand and line set lengths estimated. Oftentimes, this includes making assumptions about distances in attics or crawl spaces. Although this is not ideal, it is part of the job. Using DSB, however, will help you design a solution which accounts for these assumptions. It will also aid in the selection and compatibility of units to meet your customer's comfort needs. Before proceeding, let's review the steps to download DSB. DSB is free to download and is available at mylinkdrive.com. The following video will walk you through the download process. If you wish, pause the video here and download DSB in a separate window. Welcome to downloading and installing Diamond System Builder. First, open your web browser. Enter the URL www.mylinkdrive.com. Next, select the USA flag. Now, locate and select the Software tab. Select the option for Diamond System Builder. Next, you'll want to click Download DSB. Please fill in the following with your information. Once completed, please select Download. When prompted, please select Save As. Choose your desktop as the save location. Open the DSB install icon located on your desktop. If prompted with a security warning, please select Run Anyways. Please follow the install wizard guide to complete your installation. Once completed, please open the new desktop icon. And finally, you'll need to register with your information. Once you have DSB, you may wish to download the Diamond System Builder Handbook. It can be found on the Help tab. Use it as a reference guide as you work with the software. As we proceed through this tutorial, I'll demonstrate using DSB to build a project using an application scenario. This will include project properties, selecting equipment, entering project information, and creating the as-built. Let's consider your typical single-family home. Some bedrooms are uncomfortably warm during the summer months and others are cold during the winter. The existing unitary system is dated and the owner would like to reduce their energy bills. Based on the application details we just reviewed and a manual jade load calculation, Choosing the proper units should be simple. If necessary, pause the playback and review the application details again. Your solution might look similar to this one. MSZ 06s in each bedroom, SLZ 12s in the living room and kitchen, and an SEZ 12 in the master suite. Outside, an MXZ 5C42 hyperheat with a branch box. In addition to the units, your design will also include line set lengths, number of bends, and unit heights. Before installation, these values are generally estimated. 
Once installed, however, you should revise these values to ensure the proper refrigerant charge and functionality of the entire system. Now we'll go into DSB and create the project. When DSB is launched from your desktop, the DSB Drive Project screen will appear. Depending upon your elections, you may also be prompted to sign in. To create a new project, click New. The Project Properties box will appear, displaying the Project Info tab. Here's where you enter general information about the project, such as a project date, customer name, and any general comments you wish to include. The model generation for the application can also be selected. Options include current, old, or both. We'll select current. The Unit Config tab is typically used for city multi-system design. Changing these default settings is not recommended. The Design Conditions tab is used to enter the location of the installation. Start by selecting the location and then specify the state and city. Notice that not all cities are listed. Sometimes you have to choose the location based upon proximity to the actual application. If you do a lot of business in this particular city or area, click Apply. This saves the design conditions for the next DSB project that you build. The Extended Warranty tab is used to record site and installation details. This information can be entered once the as-built is complete. Right now, we'll click OK and continue building the system. With project properties entered, we'll move on to the equipment for the application. DSB starts with the outdoor unit and then proceeds to the indoor equipment. We'll enter line set lengths, bends, and installation heights for each unit. Initially, these values may only be estimates. Once installed, though, we'll return to DSB to make corrections and enter actual measurements. For our scenario, we'll begin with selecting the system. The model drop-down list is used to select the proper unit. For our application, we'll select the 5C42 NAHC Hyperheat model. Enter the unit's height above ground level. For pads, enter 0 feet. For regions that receive winter weather, refer to the cold climate installation guidelines found on mylinkdrive.com. Raleigh receives over a half foot of snow per year. To account for this, we'll raise the outdoor unit one foot. To label units, select the tag reference field and enter a name. The Advanced tab is where you will record the unit's serial number. Once the equipment is installed, return to this tab and update each unit. Optional accessories can be selected from the Accessories tab. Items selected here can be exported in a parts list, which can then be taken to your distributor. Returning to the Unit Info tab, we'll now click OK to advance the project and select indoor units. With the MXZ system selected, we'll choose the appropriate branch box and drag it into the highlighted space. In our scenario, the piping length from the MXZ unit to the branch box is 29 feet. Number of bends is 2. Here we're assuming the branch box will be in the attic. We'll enter a height of 10 feet. Clicking OK completes the joint unit detail and returns us to the project. For bedroom number 2, we spec the wall mounted unit. Just like the branch box, we'll drag the unit icon onto the project. The indoor unit detail displays. Here we will use the drop-down list to select the desired model. Based on the load calculation and equipment features, select the GL06. Estimated piping length from the branch box to the unit is 12 feet. Number of bends is 2. 
and the unit will be installed at a height of 8 feet. To label the unit on the project, select the Room Combo box and click Add New Room. Enter a room name and click OK. Once the indoor unit detail is complete, click OK again. Let's continue with Bedroom 3, the kitchen, and family room. In Bedroom 3, we'll select another MSZ GL06. The piping length is 12 feet, with two bends, and a unit height at 8 feet. For reference purposes, we'll enter a room name. In the kitchen, we selected the SLZ-12 ceiling cassette model. The piping length is 14 feet, with two bends and a unit height of 8 feet. Here again, we'll enter a name for the room. Once entered, we'll click OK to continue adding units. For the living room, we have another ceiling cassette SLZ-12 model. Piping length is 10 feet, with two bends, and a height of 12 feet. Once again, we'll enter a name for this unit. Click OK to continue. The last room to enter is the master suite. Just as before, we'll select the indoor unit icon, drag it onto the project, select the model, enter the piping length, bends, and unit height values. Then we'll label the room and click OK to complete the process. Once indoor units are added to the project, control components need to be selected. To begin, click the Control Views icon. To add a local remote controller, click the icon, select the type and model of the remote controller, confirm the groups, and then click OK to finalize the selection. Once the equipment is selected, we'll perform a global check. This ensures unit compatibility and system design are within engineered specifications. With a successful check, save the project and get ready for the installation. Not all installations go according to plan. In some cases, changes to the design are necessary in order to get around unforeseen obstacles. In our scenario, we need to adjust our design to accommodate for a pipe chase. Instead of 18 feet, we need to install 33 feet of line set. With any design change, return to DSB and update the project. This will give us a proper as-built and confirm the necessary refrigerant charge. Open the project in DSB. Locate the unit line set needing to be changed. Update the piping length. Click OK to confirm the change. The as-built design is now complete. Now we'll review the quick results. This way we can verify the necessary refrigerant charge for the completed system. Our as-built system needs 7.6 pounds of added refrigerant. This brings the total refrigerant amount to 18.1 pounds. Completed projects can be exported for your business records. Select the Export tab and review the various formats available. Each one provides a unique set of files. Choose the best one for your record keeping needs. Before closing DSB, save the project. Once saved, the project screen will display. This concludes the Diamond System Builder tutorial. As you saw, creating a project in DSB is pretty straightforward. 
Entering design conditions and project properties ensures equipment compatibility and proper refrigerant charge.